I'm Tracy Pachaki, the owner of Illustrated Designs. My creative team and I work with a lot of small and mid-market businesses that are struggling right now. After 25 years in the industry, I have a lot of information and tips to share about marketing and events, even during difficult times like these. And I've been sharing those on our social media posts. However, I can only share so many tips myself and because I wanna help as many people during this time as I can, and I'm honored to know some incredible leaders and industry experts that also wanna help, I've launched this series. It's interviews to help you run your small business during social distancing. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know, my team and I are here to help. But today I'm excited to speak with Seth Goldstein. Seth is the Principal Creative Director at Goldstein Media, where they specialize in digital marketing, including WordPress, web design and development, search engine optimization, social media marketing, planning and implementation, take a breath, email marketing, digital marketing, and um, and consulting. So Seth, did you have anything to add or did I get everything no, in I your think introduction? I you got it all. We, we, do, we also do search, search engine optimization. I'm not sure if you said that, but it, there was a lot there, so I'm not sure. So. <laughs> Sounds good. So um, I think a lot of us are going to get a comfort in knowing that we're not alone and what we're feeling and what we're experiencing. So as someone who also works in with your clients in marketing, mm -hmm. I have a multi-part question for you. And I'd love to hear from you what your clients have been struggling with and how they've needed to adjust with regard to social distancing and possible shutdowns, as well as what advice and tips and resources you might be able to give and share with others who might be in a sa the same or a similar position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, a lot of my clients, they, they range because there's there's some that are more digital and more online and they're not, I would say, suffering or being affected quite as much because they can move home and work from home. I mean, it might not be glamorous. I'm in my basement right now, so it's not glamorous. But the idea is, is that, that they're not hurting that much yet, but, but they are seeing the writing on the wall that things will start trickling down. So that what, what they're doing is they're, they're getting their content marketing squared away they're they're starting to share more content and whatnot then there's the people that are running cafes and running restaurants and they're like they can either do takeout like beans that like, you know one of my clients is saying he's selling the the beans and you come by the, the store and he'll put them on the curb you pay ahead of time and all that so there's been some edits for them to do and whatnot but the idea is the tip is don't stop don't stop marketing. Don't stop talking. And when I say don't stop marketing, I mean don't stop sharing good content. Maybe not sell as much because now is not the really the right time to sell. But if you have a tip on like what you figured out that works for you during this weird time, share it on LinkedIn. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Instagram. I do a lot. I do a lot of talking on my Instagram accounts where I just share tips as they come to me on on the stories. Now, the, the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that the stories are actually archived, in, but they're hidden after 24 hours. So you can then make a little collection on the bottom of, on your profile of the story. So you can make a COVID-19, unfortunately, or a quarantine story where you can have all your tips in there um, after they air for 24 hours. So there's a lot of tips out there, but for the business owners out there, don't ignore LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a very powerful tool, and it's not just collecting contacts and and Rolodex. There, I showed my age, Rolodex, but you want to be able, you want to share your content there. And if you know people, connect to them. If you don't know them, you can go next to their name and hit follow, and then you can get their content without connecting to them because you really want to know the person at least somewhat before you can you say, hey, let's be connections. I think that's the term on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. There are all I different terms, so. yeah. or friends, or just be connected on LinkedIn. And that is what you want to do is you want to follow a bunch of people so that way your feed gets filled out with good content. You then want to share other people's content as well with a little blurb about, about it, about your take on the content. So, Yeah. So what my biggest takeaway from what you said is you, you want to stay top of mind. You want to still be mm -hmm. out there, but be a good resource for people, right? Mm -hmm. You know, share good information as opposed to selling. Now, obviously, if you have a service or a product that can help people right now, feel free to share, to sell. But, um, yeah. but it, I think by staying top of mind, you are going to be remembered when things get back to mm -hmm. normal day to day, right? Yeah, people buy from people that they like. 
people like yeah. to deal with people that they like. And even if you have a business like an HVAC company that, you know, unfortunately they have to go into the houses every once in a while when the heater or the AC breaks, you can say, hey, this time, you know, we're having a, you know, a quarantine discount, you know, and you can discount your services, you know, a little bit saying, hey, you know, we know this is a tough time for people. And we know that, you know, having us come out to your house is not ideal. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can also what they can do is they can talk about their precautions that they do when they go out to the, the homes. You can say we're in a complete, you know, it's not, it's not HVAC suit. It's a hazmat suit. That's the word. You know, we're in a complete hazmat suit or we're, you know, we are gloved up and, you know, covered from head to toe. Like, you know, talk about that in a blog post. Then share it once again to LinkedIn, to Facebook, to where your audience is and say, hey, we care about your health health and, you know, well-being. But if you need us, this is what our precautions are. And share that out and then, you know, do stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things that I also have seen a lot of companies do is to post to the top of their Facebook page or, you know, make it very visible on LinkedIn or Instagram. If they're open, if they're mm -hmm. working on restricted hours, you know, just let people know what yeah. your situation is. I know you work with websites. Have you had any instances where people have that changed on their homepage? Oh my goodness. <laughs> the first, <laughs> the first week we, I know, we shouldn't be touching my face, but I did wash my hands. So it's, it's <laughs> and <okay>. you're home. <laughs> I'm home. Exactly. But no, a lot of my businesses, like the accountant, accounting firm I work for, there was two extra pages of resources I put up for them. A pop-up that says, this is what's going on right now with our company. Please, you know, do X, Y, Z, Hope you all feel better. I mean, there's I, I do some work for a um, pig adoption co company out here. The little popular pigs. And they said visiting hours seven days a week. Well, we had to take that off the website and say, because of this, we can't invite people back right now. But like, here's some more pictures of the cute pigs to make you happy kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So there's been a lot of like notices that I've been putting up on sites. Like, I mean, and one of the biggest things is, is that that's not stuff I can queue up and do later. That's stuff like I get it and I do it. It's just, it's right. not something that waits. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just keeping people informed, commu keeping that form of communication open and knowing that not everybody is going to be picking up the phone. They might go to your website or social media page first to see if you're open, you know, to Absolutely. see if, are you doing curbside pickup? Are you uh, selling the coffee beans, um, even though we yes. can't go into your location right now? So that's great. So yeah, and, and Google's done something interesting also is they oh. on Google My Business, they used to have you wait three days when you changed your hours. You can now go in and write temporarily closed if you're closed temporarily. And they'll put it up right away so people are aware and not saying, Wait, I drove out here, risked my life to drive out here and you're closed. Yeah. So and they're, and they're also halting reviews for better or for worse. They're not letting you they're holding the reviews in queue until a later date they're not saying when but when you get a review it's not showing up because someone might be a little angry because they showed up and they want you to have a chance to kind of be on top of things so oh, okay well that's great i did not know that yeah so i know that um your industry you've been before we went live you mentioned that you've been staying busy but um after the social distancing restrictions are lifted, what changes, if any, do you think might happen in your industry? I think a lot more companies are going to go digital, go vert, not digital, virtual. And I think that if they don't, there's going to be a lot more hybrid models where people, if you have an agency that you all meet in one place, you may have two or three days a week where the people can work from wherever they want because they're used to that now. Because I mean, a lot of people, when they started working from home, they're like, uh, what do I do? I'm working yeah. from my kitchen table. And, and then if you just Google like, like, you know, video conferencing fails, you see, you know, people in their towels walking behind a conference call and stuff like that. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a lot of funny things that happen because a lot of people didn't work from home. And now I think that a lot of bigger companies are going to say, all right, just stay at home or we're going to have, you know, more workforce at home. If it's, if they're losing two or three hours to commute from like upper Northern California, to, you know, down to San Francisco, they might just say, don't, work those hours come in right. once a week instead so and a lot of my like my my agency were five people you know we already work remote but we've tended to move towards co-working spaces in doylestown where we're all working in close quarters we may all just stay home now you know it depends 
Have you seen an uptick in companies that typically didn't sell online adding shopping carts to their website? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of them are saying like, if if they can sell it virtually, they and via WooCommerce with with um with WordPress or with Shopify, and they're saying, hey, I have these beans. I'm doing nothing during the day. You know, I can ship these out, and they can make a run every Friday to the post office and drop them off. I mean, so the, there are people thinking, all right, here's my physical business and in the physical world, in the you know, terrestrial business. How can I go about virtualizing some aspects of it? I mean, you can't pour someone a coffee and hand it to them through them. The, unfortunately, you can't do that. But you can send beans out. You can send out, you know, for like a coffee shop, if you have a, a scone recipe that you love, you can, and you might not want to give it out, but you might say, hey, guys, it's a really easy scone recipe. Here's the, here's here's Mama Jay's, you know, scone recipe to make while you're home since you miss it at work, you know, when you come in here. So, right. It's, it's little things, and they're all going online, trying their Great. best to kind of share. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and again, staying top of mind. So it's, mm -hmm. that's important. That's a, a great way of marketing yourself right now. So, yes. So um, do you have any additional tips or resources that you can re recommend or any uh, offers or opportunities that you'd like to mention before we, we wrap up? Well, I mean, if anyone wants to reach out to me, just go to goldsteinmedia.com and I am offering, you know, depending on, you know, what your circumstances are. We, we, we're we we're not hard and fast on pricing as much. We're like, let's say, how are you doing? Like if you need a quick revision to your website, we can do that for a lot less because we're not, we're all in this together. That's the thing. You know, it's not, this is something that we haven't experienced in our lifetimes. So we're trying to help out as many people as we can every Friday from 11, no, no, from 10 to 11 on Zoom if you go to goldsteinmedia.com slash, slash office dash hours, I do a free one hour office hour just to help people with ideas like I'm doing right here. If they have a question about their business, come sign into Zoom. There is a password because of, you know, crazy stuff that goes, goes on on Zoom. But um, you can you get the alerts to when they are every Friday from, from 10 to 11. And you just go to goldsteinmedia.com slash office dash hours and it's and out the minute you sign up for the alerts you get the email to the zoom link okay well we'll Come put say hi uh, keep me company <laughs> <laughs> awesome we'll put those links in the comment section just in case anybody yeah. wants to reach out to you so Please. on a po i always like to end these on a positive note and um it with that i want to ask you know what what you're grateful for today and i'll share mine today yeah. i'm grateful for everyone that is in our community that is staying home and protecting mm. society as a whole. So Seth, what are you grateful for today? I'm actually grateful for my family. I mean, they're all being very supportive and they're cheering us along. I'm, I'm happy that my mom is actually up in Vermont right now, sheltering in place. They have a house down here in a house in Vermont and they're like, well, we're on a lot more property up in Vermont. So I'm glad she's healthy and safe. You know, yes, as much as my kid drives me nuts, I'm glad that he's you know, <laughs> healthy and happy. And he's honestly keeping me on my toes. You know, otherwise I'd be down here working nonstop. It's nice to be able to say, all right, it's 12 o'clock or it's one o'clock. I'm going to go up and go play with the kid for a little while. He's That's a good awesome. coworker. He's my chief <laughs> distraction officer, my CDO. <laughs> oh, I love that term. That's awesome. Well, yeah, feel free I, that... to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is definitely a great place to end. Thank you so much, Seth. Thank you for having um, me. There's a lot of great tips and information. I'm sure a lot of people will uh, benefit for, from that. So, uh, for everyone else, if you could please join us for our next interview, which is going to be this Thursday, April 9th at 11 a.m. with Michelle Keane from Voice Matters. Voice Matters is a marketing and public relations agency that serves small businesses in the area. So until then, stay home and stay healthy. Yes.